Hi guys, okay, today we are reviewing a foundation. We are gonna do a review and a wear test. I'm gonna see just how long I can keep this makeup on my face. But yeah, we are reviewing the number seven. I think this is pretty new to the drugstore. You can get this Walgreens and Target. I got mine at Target. Bought this pre-lockdown, by the way. I have not been out shopping for anything frivolous. Uh, I got this a few weeks ago and I've just been testing it out, wearing it off camera, really just seeing how I feel about it. This is the number seven protect and hydrate all-in-one foundation, advanced all-in-one foundation. I saw a video, I think it was uh, Sabrina talking about this and the uh, number seven powder. I know she talked about the number seven powder. Anyway, somebody mentioned this before and I was like, hmm, I wanna try that because I never could find the, was it Dream Cover Up or whatever one from Maybelline that's kind of like this with the SPF 50 in it. Couldn't find it in my shade. It runs too deep for me. Never mind. And I'm usually allergic to SPFs anyway, especially in SPF 50. But this one said that it is suitable for sensitive skin. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and give this a go. It looks like a good shade match for me. And spoiler, it is like a dead on shade match. It is beautiful. It is pretty full coverage and just a fantastic product thus far. But what we're going to do today is a wear test and see how long she holds up. I have set it down with a little bit of powder, as you'll see in the demo. We'll talk about all that. See, so if you want to see my full thoughts on this new foundation, go ahead and just keep on watching. And before you do, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know some more drugstore foundations you're interested in. And once this lockdown is over, my butt will go right back to Walgreens and start scouting out some new products. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo and review and details of the number seven, Protect and perfect foundation. Okay, foundation demo time. I have put a little bit on the back of my hand. I really like applying this with fingers, clean fingers, mind you. And uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit between my little phalanges here and just start kind of rubbing it into the skin. I think, I don't know why. I've tried this with a brush, with a sponge, and it just, I don't know, it looks so good with fingers is one of the very few products that I've enjoyed using fingers with as far as a foundation goes. But I basically apply it like a moisturizer. And it's got such beautiful coverage. And so this is definitely something out of my usual comfort zone to apply something with fingers like this. And I kind of just tap it in a little bit where I want to build some coverage. See, I have a little hive right here from uh, just allergies. It just popped up while I started filming. So we'll see how the, well that gets covered. Don't know why that popped up, it just did. So like around my nose, I kind of just pat and press it down to the skin. I don't know, it just works and it's quick and easy. Don't worry about getting up and wet in the sponge. Bring it down my neck a little bit. Love that this has SPF 50. I am allergic to a lot of SPFs and this one hasn't given me any issues. So it's fantastic. I guess because it is suitable for sensitive skin, it's working for me very well. Most time SPF 50s definitely give me hives. This hive is just from, I don't know. It was already here. <laughs> it just decided to join the party while I go because my allergies are a little haywire right now because yards were getting mowed today. Our yard was mowed, the neighbor's yards were mowed. So, yeah, I just like to pop, push it into the skin a little bit. One layer, I think it looks really good, but you can build it, which is awesome. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. So I'm just gonna build up a little bit on my chin, which is usually got a little bit of redness. And a little bit right in here. I don't bring this too close to my eyes because Sunscreen does make my eyes water if it gets too close. That's basically how I apply it. It just evens everything out and makes it look really nice and healthy and just fresh, dewy. This is what I want a dewy foundation to look like to me. This is what I wanted from the Maybelline Dream Liquid. I know they have the Maybelline one that is like this as well with the SPF, but I can't find it in a shade that matches, that works for me. It They seem just a little too dark. Put a little more coverage on the cheeks here. Yeah, this is super buildable. Like, I just take my finger and kind of pat it in areas that want more coverage rather than rubbing it in. It really does build it and look great to me. It looks very skin-like and so quick and easy to apply. And sometimes I set this, sometimes I wear it just as is, depending on what I'm doing that day. Uh, it wears very gracefully from what I've noticed unset, but today we will set it and do the whole shebang. So we'll go ahead and do my concealer and all that and we'll be back for the finished look and final mm -hmm. details. Here's a close-up look of the finished makeup before we zoom out. I do think it came out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. It's just a nice, easy, kind of soft look. Very okay, spring. and that was the demo of this product and this is how it looks with everything all finished. And so far it looks pretty dang great. I, I haven't seen any oxidization going on really. It's a perfect shade match. I have the lightest shade, which is, it's not on here. <laughs> 
Uh, anyways, I have the, the lightest shade because I'm a ghost. I think this, my new uh, camera situation makes me actually look like I have more color than I do. But no, don't get confused. I'm white as a sheet. <laughs> it's just some reason this kind of like warms me up a little bit. I don't know. I'm in 8K now. Well, you're seeing me in 4K, but I'm filming in 8K. So fancy, right? I'm ahead of the curve on that one. <laughs> anyways. This foundation has an SPF 50 in it. I am usually pretty allergic to SPFs, especially high SPFs like an SPF 50. But I guess because this one is suitable for sensitive skin, I have not had any issues. I have not itched. I haven't got any hives. Nothing like that. No redness, no congested skin, no breakouts. It has just been kind of a godsend as far as that goes. Because normally I have a really hard time finding an SPF that I can wear on my body and or on my face that doesn't give me hives, break me out make me itch terribly that I have to take any histamines if I am going to use an SPF. Thankfully I don't go outside that much and most of my windows are covered. I don't see a whole lot of sunlight so <laughs> and I'm kind of nocturnal in nature so I don't usually have to have an SPF every single day. I've mentioned in my favorites a few that I have been using that haven't caused me any issues but this having such a high SPF in it and not cause me any problems has been absolutely amazing and I am just shocked because believe me I have used my fair share of SPFs and have had my fair share of hives <laughs> and breakouts and clogged pores and the whole gambit and this has not gave me a single issue and the coverage I think is absolutely beautiful by the way it's buildable I applied it with my fingers and kind of built it up in some areas but I like that you can still see my freckles through it just my skin looks even and just fresh and nice. It doesn't look makeup-y. It doesn't look heavy. I think it just looks like my skin but better kind of thing. And I love that. And I love that I can build it up in areas that I have a little more redness or whatever. I just tap it on with my fingers. I've tried it with a sponge. I wasn't a fan. I feel like the sponge just soaked it all up or and just it did not apply it very well. And brush, same situation. It was very streaky. It, does, it doesn't do with, go with a brush. I think you can use a sponge with it if you prefer but I've actually just really loved applying with my fingers and I'm not somebody who likes applying their foundation with their fingers at all like I did not think that was going to be a, a thing for me but this one has proved me wrong I am absolutely loving it I look that I can see my forehead freckles my nose freckles and stuff through it it sits well in my smile lines it doesn't do anything out of the ordinary on me or weird it just it wears very beautifully you can see a little bit settling in the smile lines of course and around my chin but that's every single product I wear does that to me. That's just the way my face is made. I have some lines right here, my smile lines. And honestly, I've had those since I was born. <laughs> I've always kind of looked a little bit older around my mouth just because I have that crease right there. It's always been there. I used to get mistaken for 30 when I was 16. <laughs> Yay. So now I finally look, just look the age that I am for once. And yeah, it sits really nice though on the skin. I... I like to set it not super heavy because I feel like if you overset and like fully bake, you're going to get a little bit of cakiness, I feel like. But if you just set it as I did with just a, a brush and not with a damp sponge and do the whole baking thing, but just give it a nice dusting, get rid of the tackiness. It looks really nice and will wear really well. And sometimes I do wear it without setting it down just on a day out, like, or if I'm running errands or whatever, or, you know, working around the house and just going to be filming a little bit, vlogging or whatever. I just pop it on just to even my skin out and I don't set it or anything. And I think it looks beautiful like that. It looks very just skin-like, dewy, healthy in the best way possible. I would definitely recommend this to mature skin, young skin, all skin. <laughs> I think everyone could benefit from this one. Yeah, especially if you have sensitive skin, I'd say this would be a one you could try and definitely enjoy. I'm loving this. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing another one. It's become my kind of go-to everyday foundation. And I've been trying a lot of foundations lately and I keep catching myself wanting to reach for this one. It does have that sunscreen smell. It's in a little squeezy tube. I think it feels, smells fresh and nice. It's not overly fragranced or anything. It's just that typical sunscreen type of smell these products have. I do believe this is kind of like a dupe for the... Uh, it Cosmetics CC Plus. Let's get into the details about this foundation. So I read you some of the details from the website. Um, first thing I'm noticing, the shade range is not, not it, Chief. It, it's a little lacking. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shades. I feel like there, there could be some more shades in there. It doesn't feel like it runs that deep. And honestly, I didn't think it, it would run light enough for me, but it did. Um, I think depending how you use it, if you are a deeper skin tone, you could probably manipulate it to work with you if you are into more of a lighter coverage. Because, you know, you apply your fingers and you shear it out a little bit, it's fine to do that with. But if you're wanting that full, full coverage, 
you're gonna want something that matches a little better, obviously. Yeah, I think the, the shade range definitely could be improved, but that seems to be the running theme with these products like this is kind of a lackluster shade range, especially if you're touting that it's a full coverage or buildable to full coverage product, medium coverage, I'm sorry, it's medium coverage. Still, I feel like you need to have a, a better shade range. That being said, um, I think it can be worn as a sheer foundation and built up to a medium, almost full coverage, depending how much you apply, but honestly, we recommend applying so, so much that it becomes full coverage, because then you will get a little bit of a cakiness just because of the uh, type of product it is. It'll probably start to slip and slide around because it's a very emollient, very dewy product. According to the number seven website, this is a multitasking all-in-one foundation. Instantly perfects the appearance of skin, concealing blemishes and blurring, the appearance of lines, wrinkles, pores, while providing 24-hour hydration. Enriched with age-defying skincare ingredients from our Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum, over time this helps skin look younger and healthier. 92% people saw smoother skin, 82% saw healthier looking skin, and 90% saw blemish instantly concealed. To me, everything they're claiming here is basically true. Um, I haven't like worn it consistently enough every day to see if it's like improving my skin over time. I have had some great skin days recently. Whether it has something to do with this foundation, I doubt it. I've just been kind of half-assing my skincare, honestly, and things have been going good. I like that this has skincare in it. That is really just a huge bonus to me. That was one of the selling points of the It Cosmetics one to me was that it had the skincare and the SPF despite being allergic to it. I, I really like that this has like some anti-aging properties. I do feel like it does kind of blur your pores. Is it gonna blur like a primer would, you know, like a silicone primer or something? No, but it, it does kind of airbrush them a little bit. It does make your fine lines not look so apparent, I guess you could say. So I would definitely recommend this to mature skin as well as my age in your 30s to 20s to teens. I think this would actually be a great one for teenagers just to throw on, go to school because your skin's being protected. Yeah, I think having the SPF though would make this a great product for everyone that you wants an SPF. Honestly, on a whole, I would completely and totally recommend this product to just about everybody out there if you can find a shade that is suitable for you. And I will say my skin has been more on the oily side lately with some surface dryness and this doesn't cling to my dry patches. It does make my skin feel really hydrated throughout the day. It really does feel like you're wearing a moisturizer is very nice. I've worn it for some long days here and there and it held up pretty well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this wear test. It is currently 10.57 at night because time is relative and it doesn't fucking matter right now, does it? I've had this on for probably about an hour. So I've had it on since I would say about 10 o'clock and uh, we're gonna wear it until maybe 7 a.m and see how she holds up at 8 a.m. So yeah, I will do some uh, check-ins. I'll see you in a little bit. Can I just say how good it felt to just sit down and talk about a damn foundation and not worry for a minute and just turn my brain back, turn my brain off and go into work mode and feel a sense of normalcy that I haven't felt in two weeks. <laughs> okay, doing a little check-in here. It is 1 a.m. I've had it on since 10. So that's what, I've had it on five hours. And uh, we're holding up pretty good. Let me kind of get you in close. You can see a little bit around my nose, kind of whatever weirdness. This always happens there, especially since I got my nose ring. I feel like that's worse. Or maybe I just never noticed before. I don't, this seems to only happen on this one side of my nose. I don't know if things get weird because I'm trying to work on my nose ring or what. But that's just been uh, the situation with that lately. Uh, otherwise, the foundation is holding up quite beautifully. It's not really settling anywhere. Aside from this business, I, I, I don't know. Every product has done that to me lately. We have had some dinner, breakfast, lunch, something. I've eaten and noodles and some chips and salsa. I've just been doing some stuff on the computer. I haven't really been doing anything strenuous. I'm about to start dusting the office and like cleaning in there. So we'll see how we look after I have done all that. <laughs> That just been important footage and that sort of thing and good god do 8k videos take a long time to import holy shit two hours <laughs> two hours <laughs> but anyway good quality right quality content over here it's what you're getting pumpkin is very displeased with me with the uh, this whole going from one to room room to room doing things business oh she hates it but little dog's just gonna have to deal with it and um uh, yeah that's what is up right now and i'll check in a little bit We'll see how she's looking. So far, so good. Okay, it is 6 a.m. I've had the foundation on for 
About eight hours now since 10 p.m. last night, roundabout. Haven't touched up or anything. I'm looking a little shiny. I could probably do with a powdering, but it's not like an insane, like, oh my god, you're oily shiny. It's more of just a nice dewy finish. I mean, this is highlighter, obviously, but um, like my chin and around up here and stuff, that's in this portion, that is actual oils breaking through. I can feel it. Probably just use a, what do you call those little things? Rice paper, blotting sheets. The foundation has held up beautifully aside from being just a little dewy. And to me, it's not really dewy enough to worry about. Like, I'm fine with this level of dew. It, I think we would, could go a few more hours and be okay. I haven't been really touching my face or anything. I've been good. I think I've done a little bit of this because I was editing a video. But I have actually done a lot of stuff today. I completely cleaned the office. Like... Got down on the floor, cleaned baseboards, dusted everything, vacuumed, mopped, the whole nine yards in that room. I think we're looking pretty good considering I did all of that today. Final verdict? Fantastic product. Highly recommend to every, all skin types. Like if you're like super, super oily, you may not like it a whole lot, but especially for drier skin, this is be fantastic. And if you can find your shade, definitely check it out. All age ranges rather is what I mean to say I would recommend it for. But definitely, uh, if you are very oily and do not like a dewy foundation, you like a very matte finish, probably not uh, the one for you. But if you do like a dewy finish and don't mind getting a little bit shiny throughout the day, which I think is just a nice shine, it's not like, oh my god, you're greasy shine, then this is definitely the product for you. My final verdict though is that I love it and will continue to use it and probably repurchase it. I think it's Fantastic for summer. A good solid product. And yeah, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Stay spooky, stay safe, and stay home. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>